Ha ha, you didn't get brown. You got pink, Dino. Sucks to suck. Hello. Wow, Rex in person? Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm in your house right now, robot. I'm behind you. Turn around. I'm also in the rest of your houses. I'm in everyone's house. Madge? But why? Because <laughs> he didn't get brown. Uh, no, I didn't set up the brown rare yet. Never had a chance. Thank you for the 33 months, Oreo. It'll be brown soon. We'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know, Thoxic. We'll have to find out. Mike sounding kind of weird. Nope, sounds normal to me. <laughs> Twitch defaulted you to 166p. Yep, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. You get like five bits for audio at that point. <laughs> it's fine. Your 100k plus channel points are all gone just to get a rare. <laughs> uh, this dino color thing is all just a conspiracy to get rid of everyone's channel points. So that I can add like some of the reward that I don't want you to get for a while. Gotta make sure you don't have any points first though. <laughs> it's working. It's working pretty well. I tricked you all into wasting your, your points making the dinosaur brown because you thought it was a meme. It's an economic bust. <laughs> Bob still has millions. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know how many Bob has, but I'm scared. Yeah, we're in a channel points recession. You still have 180k. There's... Why? Why would you play cursed audio? No. No. Why would you... Why do people waste the channel point rewards? I don't understand. They do it every stream. There's no game audio. It's not gonna work. It doesn't do anything. How do I refund points? Like, I still don't know how to do that. I need to know how to do that. For situations like this, I want to give those points back and just make it so like it never happened. I know it can be done because Lee did it for my channel points once or twice. I can report it. Report the redemption. How to refund? It's under redemptions? Where the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know where that is. I have my activity feed. You don't know how from there? But where is, where is that though? Channel points, manage rewards and challenges. If you go into the reward, it doesn't say anything about redemptions there. There's nothing on the dashboard on the main page. Where the fuck is redemptions? I'm, I'm expanding every single option on the left. There's nothing that says redemptions. There's nothing on the stream manager, unless I have to add a button for it. Uh, redem. Nope, no button. I have, I'm so confused. Twitch, refund channel points. Got a video with 50% of it being some guy's face looking directly into my soul. <laughs> How to refund channel points. Uh, go to your channel points redemption queue on your Twitch dashboard. Where is that? I don't know where that is. <laughs> Oh, it's... I think it's only for things that need to be confirmed. These are automatically confirmed. Mod view? Let's see. Easier in the mod view thing. But I got a feeling it's not going to work because it's an auto-redeemed one. Um... I don't... Okay, reward requests queue. Vroom Vroom is set to need request confirmation. <laughs> Oops. We have 246 of those pending, apparently. My bad. <laughs> Complete all, but I want to see the most recent ones. 
The most recent ones are shown last. I have to go through several pages, and it's a tiny little window. Can I open a bigger window or something? Pop out. Move to grid. Okay. Oh, and it, it separates them now. 34 requests for cursed game audio. Wait, maybe they don't need to be confirmed. 20 hours ago. The most recent one is 20 hours ago. That doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. It just... It says the most recent one is 20 hours ago. Yeah, brown can come up randomly only. Also, fuck you for randomly getting brown. Because he refunded it already. Oh, okay. So do, do the rest of these actually need... Because I could have sworn I set them up so that they don't need to be confirmed. Let me look. Real quick. Channel points. Rewards. Dino color. Skip rewards cute. Nope, that's not... No, only future viewer custom. Yeah, okay, that, that needs to be on. Vroom vroom. Also needs to be on. <laughs> uh... God voice is disabled. Cursed game audio. Yeah, I guess I didn't put it on for anything. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Oh, fuck's sake. I really need to fix it so that all my expressions are on buttons that don't do anything anywhere else. Real pain in the ass. And then, yeah, there we go. Now I can just go back to the mod view and uh, complete all. Complete all. Complete all. And complete all. All right, this channel is running on few. <laughs> 100 plus requests. That's a lot of dino- that's a lot of dino color requests. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. You added a command for it. Lovely. <laughs> good command. The brown dino is the only reason to come back. Uh, Alright, anyway, that took forever, so let's just jump into the game, because I- I've just been dicking around this entire time. Here we go. Gaming time. Puzzle gaming. To be precise. I guess I'll try a controller unless it doesn't let me. What kind of options we got here? Definitely gonna do V-Sync. If I can figure out how to get over there. <laughs> how do I... Okay, that was weird. It wouldn't go over until just then. You did miss the dicking around, unfortunately, yeah. Sorry. No dicking for you. Alright, played in Japanese. I will not. Yeah, thank you for the six months, Beatrice. Some time has passed. Indeed. Archaeologist Arthur McConnor is now missing for more than two weeks. His latest expedition in Egypt with Archaeologist Arthur McConnor never returned from his last expedition. The 47-year-old father was known for his research. Thank you, uh, Mastermind, for the 86 months as well. Bulminator for the 29. The rescue team have stopped the search for Arthur McConnor. And Oreo Soul for the 33. Said in an interview that it is highly unlikely for the archaeologist to still be alive. Oh yeah, Z fighting on the. I see it. Dan's report. Borger. And taters. <laughs> Look at those notes. Oh my god. So. My dad died. Rip. Literally the first thing you see when playing the game. Really, though. So, um, I was on, kind of distracted. We're, uh... We're gonna go try to find my dad, who got lost while exploring. Was that it? 
That's the same story as another game we played recently called, uh, Call to the Sea or something. Similar, anyway. I think it was my husband in that one. Puzzles. Hell yeah. Random Brown. Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. Okay. 60 FPS. No 120. Uh, uh, what if I turn off V-Sync? Some games are stupid and don't uh, understand that, like... Wait, I didn't apply, did I? That V-Sync doesn't just mean 60 FPS. I don't know, I guess I did apply. Nope, there's just... Damn it, dude. In current year, limiting to 60 frames? Disgusting. Unplayable. <laughs> All right. Let us explore. We should get refunded every time if we don't roll brown dino. <laughs> that's not... That's not gonna happen. Well, it looks like, uh... My dad made a fire. Anything higher may break some puzzles. Oh, God. <laughs> that should not be the case. Oh, you got a crazy zoom. No run, I don't think. The zoom is actually the only... Zoom and jump, that's all I can do. And that. Pick up cube. Oh shit, chat. Am I solving the puzzle first try? <laughs> Let's go. How does he do it? Oh, is that the ghost of my dad? Where's he going? Should've zoomed. Oh, saw his head. Cubes and switches, never seen that before. <laughs> yep. Brand new concept. Never before used. Do not steal. Oh hey, a package arrived. Epic. That's gonna happen a lot. For a while, Chad. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing that sound a lot. Is this a cell-shaded port? Oh, there it is again. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is portal, but cell-shaded. Exactly. Well, I did it. I solved another very difficult puzzle. Look at me go. Oh, I just... You just... <laughs> all this dad stuff just reminded me I needed to send a text to my dad. One second. <laughs> Telling him something that he needs to buy. Very professional streamer. Lots of gameplay so far today. <laughs> I should just unpause so there's sound, shouldn't I? There you go. Dino head tilt, yeah. Dino's looking at his phone. I'm done. And thank you for the 19 months, Camerasi. Appreciate it. Don't eat the controller, but Dino Hungy. Hungy Dino. I had to tell him what uh, insulation to, to order for my sound panels. Alright, yeah, Dino's always hungry. It's not his fault. Maybe I should look at this. What's he got there? He's got a triangle. That looks familiar. Like it's a, I don't know, like a, a clan tag from Halo or something. Or maybe like a diaper. One or the other. That's the bestest insulation. Yeah. Definitely. And I might be able to order my uh, acoustic art panel from a Canadian company instead of 
an American company that'll cost a million dollars. Which is exciting. Oh, is this the time travel mechanic? Um, okay, so, right. Cool. I'm sure we're gonna get very big brain with that shit. What if the sound absorption is too strong and we can't hear you anymore? Well, there won't be any between me and the microphone, so, you know. Clunge. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure what clunge is, but apparently it's green. Yeah, it's similar to a mechanic we've had in, uh, Talus Principle. I'm pressing RB. That's actually LB, so... <laughs> Guess that's why this is here. Oh, I must have turned that on. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Can you come back? Can you please come back? I wanted to get on it first, obviously. I was just trying the button. Oh, X brings it back. RB makes it go, but X brings it back. Wait, X also makes it go. And even though I changed the swap thing, LB still also makes it go. Did I need to hit apply? Nope, the, the setting just does nothing. Oh, now it... <laughs> now that it's back on, RB is correct. So it's RB or X, they do the same thing. But it was also LB when it was supposed to be RB. <laughs> Gotta go fast, because I didn't really give myself a lot of time. Wee. The real puzzle was the settings menu all along. Well, I solved it. I don't know how long this game is. For all I know, it might just be like a one stream game. I guess we'll see. Okay, we got a cube. What does it do? Two hours max? Because I'm just that good at puzzles, right? Makes a bridge. Alright, no time travel needed for that. Where am I going? I could... Oh, I get it. I get it. That's cute. Is this a speedrun? Sure, why not? And then we go up. Rex blind? I saw it immediately. What do you want from me? I don't know how much better that could have been. What else is there? More time travel. What's this do? Push cube. Well, uh... I think I get it. Just gotta get our time clone to push the cube over. And then we'll stand on it. Well, that, this, this might not work out so well. <laughs> okay, now we have lots of time. That should be good. That gives me time to get on as well. We. You want me to have the foresight to know how to solve puzzles before I've seen them? Hmm. I'm pretty good, but I'm not that good. Alright. So the bridge there with the cube. A button that activates that. Okay. But if I were to go over there, I wouldn't be able to get back. Bear played this game and he hasn't even played it. Wow, that's very impressive. So, I'll just have the clone press it and then press it again, I guess. I don't know if there's going to be enough time. Maybe the clone has to get the... No, that wouldn't make any sense. There might not even be enough time to get up here, let alone press it again. Yeah, okay. We got our first real puzzle. Can I, like, delete the recording? No, I guess not. Um, well, I can certainly go over there myself, but wouldn't I get stuck? Like, I can activate it and go over just fine. 
What if I do actually just... What will this do? Does this affect the real cube? Interesting. Very interesting. Of course it would affect the cube. We've already affected things. Nice. All right, we're, we're puzzling now. Do we really have an Excel sheet of dance? Oh my god. What is wrong with this absurd community? If you have clones and one of them is stuck, why does... Why does your brain go there? Alright, can we make it? Epic, what a gamer. That's all that platforming game experience. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe it. Totally normal humans. Okay. So that just lifts up to there. There's no... Oh, I can just jump across. <laughs> Don't mind me. That lifts that up, okay. And then... We can't reach this, can we? Hmm... Okay, well that's pretty obvious to start. We need the cube. Because I assume we can't make the jump with it. No, we cannot. You sometimes feel that everything this community does is done ironically. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Everything is a meme. Does chat care about your dinner? <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I do a stream with other people, they, um... They ask me to get their dinner support as well, so... Okay, so now we just need the person to go over and... Press the button, I suppose. And something tells me I'm going to need the cube also. So I'm going to grab that. Oh shit, rainbow dino. Oh no, the cube has to go on the button. Dummy. Let's go. Large pog. Okay, let me go this way. Who got the, who got the rainbow? That'll do it. No brown. <laughs> Come on. You, smiley face. I believe all of you. You all got it. We all got the rainbow dino. Rainbow dino, so pretty. Alright. We're making quick work of this game. Surely I'll be done in like an hour with no difficulties had on any puzzle whatsoever. This game does not seem to support bee hopping, no. Yeah, we're all winners here. Are Madonna even sparkles? Yeah. Sure does. Who am I calling Shirley? You. That's your name. Wake up. Your real name is Shirley. You've been in a dream this whole time. Okay, knee, like ankle deep water is death. Got it. Today I learned. Ooh, big fancy pyramid. I wish I could put jump on. Well, I guess I could use my paddle. Hang on. Be a lot more comfortable. As soon as I remember what to press. Uh, <laughs> how's this work again? Like that? Nice. Now I can jump with a paddle. Going ham with fucking scuff paddles for a <laughs> fucking puzzle game. What a guy. Well, this looks important. Of course I can't do anything with it yet, I think. It's, it's doing a little controller vibration, I guess, to say, like, no. You may not. Oh, pro <laughs> probably, Tony. No, I would not. Awesome, I guess. I would not. Oh my gosh, the rainbow dino. I know, right? Look at it. Look at 
how pretty it was. You can say you were here, yeah. Those years, I finally found it. The Great Gate of Egypt. I wonder what ancient mystery it may hide. Ask plus voice acting. So, if I interpret the symbols correctly, opening the gate has something to do with these missing seals. The rest is harder to... This dino is 1%, same as the cursed one in the white dino. They are the rarest. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find out what that means. This whole place looks like Sorry, a okay. mechanism. Probably driven by those buttons. But only one seems to work. Oh, the left one works. Didn't even notice. Hello, ghost dad. Do you know where real dad is? By chance. Okay, we gotta get... Uh... It's weird how it's... You'd think it'd be four, but... <laughs> We gotta get some triangles from completing these paths, and then we can put the triangles in there and go that way, I, I suppose. How is it that if my dad all did all this, like, the triangles are not just there? Cursed Audio's on cooldown for an hour. Somebody fucking wasted it. Before the game even started. Again. I really wish I could change that so it doesn't work in the first, like, ten minutes. I'm going to take some time tomorrow, though, to, uh... I'm going to change that so that it affects everything except my voice, like, music, too. And I, I might, if I have time, set up the rare brown dino. You guys know I'm a mod, too, right? Even if the mods really were gone. I can, I can mod. 20-minute cooldown for cursed voice, that would be horrible. Oh, nice, Crispy. I haven't played it in so long, I probably won't care, but... That's awesome. I'm not a st <laughs> No, I pay myself in... I don't know. Sexual gratification. I give myself hand jobs. <laughs> it's a nice deal. TMI. <laughs> making that. Hmm. Can I- No fucking way! <laughs> what? <laughs> you actually got a rare twice in a row. I can't believe it. That's probably not gonna happen again for a long time. Wow. That's what, a, a one in- 100 times a 1 in 1 in 10,000? No. 3 in 10,000 and then 3 in 10,000. If it's different uh, rares, then 3 in 10,000 and then 2 in 10,000. Or 3 in 100 and 3 in 100. You, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, can I boost myself? 3 in 100 twice, yeah. <laughs> the end result is out of 10,000. Let's see. I can't seem to crouch, so... Also, I doubt I can even interact with the ghost. All right, well, we're stuck. We're stuck. One in 900, I don't think so. Uh, huh. I see. Will this work? Is this, is this legal? No, the door's gonna close. Um... I don't... I'm gonna soft lock. <laughs> well, I gotta go back around. You get it? I don't. Not yet. I mean, maybe she can pass it up to me. It just looks like it's too high, but... I suppose that's not the case. It must not be. I'd have to be able to make it there in time, too. It's quite a ways. Just get it. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea if this works. Guess we'll find out. What should you cook for dins? Um, make a homemade double Big Mac. Okay, that clearly doesn't work. Hmm. What will work? I am confused. 
Oh, can I stand on the button too? Oh, well, that's simple. I thought the cube had to do it. Yeah, the cube the cube's very heavy, so they can't uh jump very high. There we go. Uh one warning, CFB, don't ever help streamers with puzzles. Like, please no. Thankfully, I already figured it out. Alright, there we go. What's that do? That moves... Okay, that moves that up. So now I can bring the cube up. Easily enough. <laughs> good chant, good chant. Let's put that there. Hopefully that doesn't cancel it. Okay, it doesn't. Good, good. Don't spoil, don't guess, don't think. Blue Eyes Come Dino. Hmm. You can't tell, but I'm doing a, the, like, suspicious face. You can't tell because my eyes are on fire. <laughs> what does this do? See. Gotta double up. Dino NFT when? Literally never. Not in a million years. Epic. <laughs> really, really good. Doesn't it hurt to have your eyes literally on fire? No, I'm like super saiyan or something. It's okay, because my power level is very high. I can take it. Wait, I was looking at something. Okay, thank God. What's the plot of this game? Uh, I think my dad came to explore some ancient ruins, and we never heard back from him, so now we're trying to find him. Something like that. Boo, dad is gone. <laughs> find dad. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Very advanced stuff. Oh my. What's up with that? Chad, I want you to know that I could have taken a sponsorship for a game that has NFTs, but I didn't, and it was a lot of money. <laughs> I just want you to know what I did for you. The sacrifice that I made. Raid Shadow Legends I'll do, but NFTs are the line. <laughs> I'm actually not, I, maybe it was a service, I don't, I don't even know. I saw the word NFT and was like, nope. Oh my, that's a large cube. That is a large ass cube. What are we gonna do with it? I like this feature, it lets me kind of see through the cube while I'm pushing it. It's a nice little touch. Uh, I did take a sponsorship with Big Anime Boobs. That's what Raid Shadow Legends was. Oh, it's to get me across here. Duh. There we go. Alright. It's fucking wild how much shit is getting involved with the NFTs lately. It was incredibly shitty. We're all very surprised, Spell, that the NFT game was incredibly shitty. Yeah, all the goals were met for warships and raid. Boofin. All the bonus goals and everything. Chat did an awesome job. I hope you're ready for me to sell out again with another one of those games in the future. <laughs> I don't know when, but... At some point. Okay, that just resets that. Um... Thank you for the 37 months, man, for not doing the NFT stuff. Thank you for the 37. Okay, so what I'm going to do is activate the clone, have a stand on the button to move me. No, oh, I'm kind of confused. Can't I just... Hmm. 
needs to be me that gets up there, not the clone. So the clone has to get here. What if the clone... I have an idea. Thank you for the three months, Fluffing Adorable. Appreciate it. So if the clone goes like this... I have no idea what I'm expecting here. Um, uh, it falls through. It doesn't care if the platform's really that. Oh, wait. That's a bridge, not a moving platform. Yeah, but it doesn't care if the bridge is there. The bridge would have to actually be there. Oh, that's what taking the cube down is for. Duh. That was the step that I was missing. The obvious step. Yeah, no, no loot the dino. That's illegal. Looting the dino results in being burnt to a crisp. No mercy. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm actually... I don't think this is gonna... Whoa, I'm confused. So if I... If I go in here now, I can go over here, reset this, except I can't because it's illegal. What the fuck? I don't get it. If I can't reset it, could I quickly solve it? I'm trying, robot. I'm doing my best. I feel like this should be simple. Um. Come on, use brain. If I take this off, the clone won't be able to go over there. If I leave it, the clone won't be able to do anything. Cease the space-time crime. Hmm. Damn, my brain's already smooth. That didn't take long. I really thought I'd be able to, to pull that back. I mean, I... Oh. <laughs> no, I can stop crying now. <laughs> that I, f I keep forgetting that I can just stand on buttons instead of using the cube. Fucking dummy. I don't think so, Arya. No fucking way! What? Is my fucking code bugged? All three within the span of like a few minutes. What the heck? That's wild. Uh, I needed to bring the cube, and I did not. That is crazy, dude. Three rares and four tries. That's insane. The sound effect should be cursed with this dino. It is. It is cursed. Did you not hear it? Go back and listen. Maybe it's a thing in the RNG. I have no idea. Could be. Dino is pulsating, so disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the normal wow. There is no normal wow. It, what? <laughs> what do you mean? The sound itself is cursed. The wow. Wow! It's cursed. It's not normal at all. You mean make it cursed in, in terms of like doing the cursed audio thing that I do to it? Is that what you mean? I guess I could. I'm not sure what going down here is going to do for me. Because I need the block to get up here. Can I grab it? No. I understand the end goal is to get over there. So I want to get the cube down there. But if I drop down here... Well, for starters, I can't get back up. And now I have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? What is this nonsense? Are you serious right now? Hmm, that was interesting. You can see the top. <laughs> now can you see it? Are you are you kidding me? Like I couldn't tell if this was high enough to jump back up. I did just walk on water, yeah. 
You got a problem with that? Uh, no, of course there's a chance of getting the rares consecutively, but... It is, uh... Nevertheless surprising, because it's a very unlikely thing to happen. So... We got the cube here. We need to get up here. Then what? I can't bring it back that way. We only have the one cube. I definitely can't grab it and bring it up. The The dino's name is Rex P. Because that's the original name of the emote. Other than that, his name is just Dino. I guess. I mean, if you mean the cursed dino, then yeah, just cursed dino. That's his name. I don't understand. What the hell is this? This is the cursed dino. What? Do you not like him? But he's cute. He's so cute. Come on, let me cheese. <laughs> you know you wanna. Damn it. It knows. It knows my tricks. Wait, so if I... If I go in here and make a clone now, I could go all the way over, I guess, and... Do what? Nothing. No, the, the cursed dino is the cutest of all. Can't do anything. Oh... Okay, I get it. So... What we need to do is use the big cube. Duh. Fucking dummy. So first we call it back. Then we get another life. And then we push it. I'm so dumb. I don't know how I'm this dumb. It's almost impressive. <laughs> I love the jump into the water. <laughs> okay. Now we bring it over here. This is gonna take like a few rounds. For sure. Probably one more. Go get it. I love how much they glide across the ground when they're moving. And by they, I mean me. Is that three rares in a row? It was two rares in a row, one common, and then a rare again. Pretty crazy. Alright, it's over. We've done it. We've, we've outlasted the cursed dino. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's, like, it's so weird how the first day we streamed, we had three, all three of them in one day. When we had, like, the first day we had them. And then we saw, like, a scattered one over the next, like, you know, many days. And then today we got all three within a few minutes. Three within four rolls. Finally getting your due after all the browns, really, though. What's up, Bill? Interesting. Pink Dino. No rare, unfortunately. In before I'm like one quarter of the of the game finished already. This gives me a triangle and then there's two more and then the final path. I'm sure the RNG isn't for well, I'm sure that my logic, like my code is not wrong. I can't be, like, certain that the the program itself isn't doing anything stupid. Okay, there's definitely more. No, no copia. It's definitely correct. Definitely. Just like when you were sure you got rid of brown, yeah. What? Here's how it works. It grabs the message from Twitch chat, and then in order... It, it scans the message and checks whether it has the word red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. And then it'll, uh, you know, if one of them 
they each get put into their own to their own variable saying yes or no like if it's there and then it starts with red again if red was there it'll it'll go and uh and just be red and exit and it goes in order then like if it's orange it'll it'll be orange and exit um if none of the colors are valid like if none of them were there it'll choose a random one by rolling a, a dice basically a die it picks a random number within a range, and then depending on what the number is, it, it goes to the associated color, and that's it. And then if, uh... Wait, the rare... Yeah, if, if the result of the roll is... Uh... No, first it rolls for rares. First it rolls for rares. Um, it rolls a 100... Like, 1 in 100 die i guess and if it's one two or three you get a, a rare dino if it's not it's like the rare roll fails and then it uses the the normal roll for like a regular dino separately so it tries for a rare first which has a three percent chance of success what rng do i use whatever's built into leorn board the software that i'm using it's not like it's not like actual, like a custom program, custom code or anything. It's like they give you like a coding-like interface within this program. That allows you to uh, make stuff happen on Twitch and like make hotkeys get pressed and stuff. I'm pretty sure the RNG is fine. It's probably just like the most basic implementation you could do. Whatever it is. I don't know what I just got, but it looked cool. Hi, Ta. I don't know what a Mer I don't know what a Mersane Twister is, but sure, <laughs> sure it's that. Okay, so we have to do four sections in order to get one triangle, and there's three triangles. Pretty sure making a var for each color is redundant, but I'm just nitpicking. Not with this, it isn't actually. No. The way it's set up, you can only check. Uh, in, in one line, you can only check if it contains uh, a certain word. So I have to do a separate var for each word. There's there's just no way to do it other than that. I can only do what it gives me access to. Okay. It's pretty simple. Put that there. We're good. Probably should have just ended the recording. Okay. Could you not do regex to check? I can probably use regex, but I can't just like store a resulting variable based on which one it finds. Like you could use the regex in the logic when you check if the if the word is there. Uh, which I think I do, actually, because it checks to see if it's lowercase, capital, uh, checks to see if it's got any, you know, any other symbols around it, whatever. Like, it, it makes it so it matches no matter what. Um, but all I can do is put the result into, like, a yes or no, like, in a, in a variable. Red dino. don't really have the ability to be like, oh, we found orange, let's put two into here. And then we'll, you know, we'll activate button two because it was orange. Because the value was two. No, that's not allowed. That's illegal. Alright. Oh, I can't wait till I have my studio set up so I can just look and see what I missed in the chat. It's going to be so nice. Alright, so there's a door in here. This goes all the way around. Okay, so you can go out over there anyway, but the door gives a shortcut. Got it. Alright. Wow, they're that good, huh, Malkavo? Be cool if you had a rare dino that was B-Rack spot with scrap metal and laser on it. <laughs> what do you think I am? Fucking professional 3D modeler? Like, I'll just remodel this and make it into a fucking robot? 
<laughs> no problem. It's hardly believable how good they are. They're that good, huh? Why would why would I do this? This I could have just done this myself. Oh, okay. So what needs to happen is this will be here, the clone will come out, move this to here, and then get up here and press this, and then I'll be on that. Gotcha. Eterna Noctis is really good. I really enjoyed that game. I'm sad that there weren't more, like, crazy endgame bosses. The software is called Leoran Board. L I O R A N Board. All one word. Okay. Lots of stuff going on up here. There's another one of those things already. Okay. That does that. Hang on, but there's no. Oh, there. I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I was actually about to say. That there's no time portal. How many hours did the Emperor boss take that you clearly shouldn't have had faith I do in 15 minutes? Less than one. Around 45 minutes to an hour is what it took. Which is pretty good. God damn it. Ha 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 did you on ha 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 uh, so I guess the clone needed to get up here, because that's not going to stay. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense, though. <laughs> God damn it, Spell. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I clearly had a very solid strategy. The only... The way I passed Emperor is currently the only way with melee. What way was that? Dodging the attacks and, and hitting him with my attacks? Uh, was there some way to get the cube up? Yes, I could have taken the cube with me. That's the solution. Um, hang on. Uh, so we put it back here. Solid regen, tank some hits. Yeah, that's pretty much... <laughs> Pretty much the strat. Should have had that back down already, but I think this will work fine. What would happen if I, like, took the cube before it could take it, I wonder? And what would that do? I played Fury, yeah. Pretty good game. I liked it. get off. Okay, now real me grabs the cube and take it with me. Put it on the thing and then we're golden. Except we're not. Oh yeah, it is a bridge. Okay, good. Blue dino. Are any of you real? I don't know. For all I know, you're just fucking fake viewers that Twitch puts in my chat. Just artificial intelligence. Honestly, I don't think AI could fake, like, Falk, though, so. You're probably real. When it comes down to it. Beep boop. You are a Falk. Me too. Me too. So, if I... had taken the cube back, would there be something stopping me from bringing it out of here with me? Because it doesn't look like it. Kind of looks like I could have just had an extra cube, which I could have then taken up here and possibly used to cheese puzzles. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... <laughs> Maybe there's some uh, unseen mechanic that will make that not possible. It'll just make me drop it or it'll respawn when I get a certain range away or something like that. Cheesing puzzles, I know, right? I'm not going to do it, but I'm, cu I'm almost curious enough just to go see if it works. Ah, 
There it is. There's the anti-cheese. That bridge gap makes it not work. Pretty simple. Do it? Nah, it's pointless. The bridge gap is too strong. Music is pretty. Oh my god, go over, please. There. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I want to turn it up. To have nice, loud music. Louder, chill music for us to listen to, but no. Um, the card in Plants vs. Zombies has nothing to do with me. They just coincidentally named it the same thing as my name. There is music, yeah, but I could see you not hearing it if you're on speakers. It wasn't super loud. Well, there's not music anymore, but there was. There was music. For like three seconds. Okay, now I can drop this cube down, I suppose. Which would allow the clone to get in there. Yeah, it was there for like three seconds. Very epic. Hard to hear Rex over the music. Okay. It's just so loud, you know? It's unbearable. Can't even concentrate. Good. Why doesn't it just have the music all the time? It was really nice. It reminded me of Minecraft music. Which also comes and goes, but this only stayed for like five seconds. Uh, what did I just accomplish? By the way. Oh, I was supposed to take the cube. Duh. Well. Hmm. If that's the case, that means I have to wait for the clone to get through the door. Unless... Maybe the clone doesn't care if the door gets closed. Maybe in the clone's world... Right, because the door isn't going to be there for the clone. Fuck's sake. I gotta redo that. The clone gives no fucks about the bridge. We, we figured that out. Like, if I move the bridge, it, it doesn't care. So it, it probably doesn't care about the door either. I should stretch. Probably. After I get the next shape, I'll stretch. How's that? Minecraft gets those piano notes just right. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very calming. Gaming. Okay, stretching. change the dino color while he's sleeping, you're going to wake him up. Rude. Where am I? <laughs> okay, right, we just collected the thing. Now we got to go back and do a different path, perhaps this one, that I just thankfully noticed at the last second. What do we have there? Is that an orange? What the fuck? It's like a flying machine or something. Um... Interesting. What the fuck? I assume that if I put the right sequence in here, it will open the back of that and I'll be able to walk in. Interesting. Hmm. 
was not expecting that. Not expecting to see anything like that. Oh chat, my new uh my new keyboard is supposed to come in today. I'm extremely hype. So uh I guess the keyboard noises from last stream are the the, the last like loud clickety clacks you're ever gonna have, unfortunately. I can demo it for you. I'll uh, let you hear what it sounds like. I did not order the special Ahagao buttons, no. Can you tweet another pick? The last one made it look weird. I don't understand. How does a how does a picture of the thing make it look weird? <laughs> Why not? What a waste. True. No, not louder clickety clacks. Not completely silent, but should be a good bit quieter. <laughs> no, you cannot, John. Uh, so we've been over there. But is that another one over? Hang on. Is that... Is that one? Is that a different... Is that what they look like? That's what they look like, right? Kinda. So I guess there was a second one over there, or am I- am I stupid? No, is that just like a switch? Where is that? Where's my cube? Brown switch? Not brown switches, gross. Not using those stinky brown switches. Uh, the switches are not padded. I believe the, uh, I believe the keyboard has foam in, inside the shell, like, down below. Um, and also the, the switches are linear and pre-lubed. What am I doing with my life? What am I, I'm just going in the door, like, why am I trying to take the cube? Uh, they're, they're linear and pre-lubed, and... I have also purchased O-rings, which I'll put on if they're still too loud. Use brown switches? Gross. This guy uses poo switches, everybody. Oh. Interesting. It shows orange lines, but... Doesn't show, like, I guess that would mean I light these three up orange, perhaps? Kinda confused. So that, that's literally nothing. It's just a little fucking, yeah, it's just a mechanism. So no, there was nothing else over here. Maybe I just have to find these things in each place. Yeah, I have blue switches now and they're pretty loud. That's what it sounds like with a decent amount of noise removal as well, mind you. I think the linears, especially with O-rings, if I can tolerate them, uh, will be, like, super quiet. So much clacking, I hate it. Terrible stream. Completely ruining my stream experience. Um, I don't suppose there'd be a tablet back there for the first one. Let's just check over here. The switches I'm getting are called, uh, EC Sakura's. V2s. Uh, thank you for the year, Cool Jedi. Appreciate it. I'm doing this with the wrong foot, so hopefully I hit it right. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. There we go. <laughs> I got my, my right leg up on the chair at the moment. Thanks for the sub, crying face. <laughs> okay, it seems like that was the only one, so... Probably just input those three orange. I hope. Oh god, Garrox. Jelly switches. The O-rings only work on the down press? Yeah, but they're very, they're really stable, uh, switches. So there's not a lot of sound on the, on the up, either. Even if it only, even if it only dampens the down press, that still would help with the sound. All right, that was different. Like there hasn't really been a puzzle like that yet, where I had to go find a random fucking 
illustration. Maybe this is a secret. Maybe there's just another normal crystal to grab and this is something else entirely. I don't know. Which key types have upward sound? All of them. It's not as much as the downward sound, but... Especially if the keys are less stable. So, like, if you put your finger on your on your keyboard switches, your keyboard keycaps, and you just kind of, like, try to wiggle them, depending on how much play they have, like, the more they have, the the more noise they would make as, as you use them. In addition to, like, the everything, like, hitting together on the inside that, like, adds extra sound. But the keyboard that I ordered has, like, really stable switches, so they, they don't move, like, almost all. Have I just taken a shortcut back somewhere? Nope, that's one of the thingies. There's also that direction. All right, let's go this first. I was considering Silent Reds. Ultimately, I went with the Sakuras. They should be almost as quiet as Silent Reds. Um, looks like I have to go get a cube from over here, actually. Um, the keyboard I wanted, I couldn't find it with Silent Reds. But, like, these Vermillo switches are supposed to be, like, really nice anyway, so. I was basically trying to get, like, the quietest I could, but these will be very close and feel, like, really nice, so it's fine. Yeah, I would have taken Silent Blacks, too. Like, I didn't really care which, which it was. As long as they were silent. Can you get the keys separately? Uh, the switches? They are special like optical switches so they're, they're not quite the same as i don't think you can just swap them in on like a cherry style keyboard i'm not sure though don't quote me on that someone in chat probably knows better than i do the varmillo ec optical switches like the rose soccer and ivies I, I don't i don't know i don't think you can just put those in you're you also have to have um a hot swappable keyboard so, like, not all keyboards have switches that can just be swapped out. It depends on how the PCB is set up. Um, if you don't, you would have to desolder all of your switches and then solder different ones on. Which would be a bit of a nightmare. Most are soldered in, yeah. It's, it's pretty rare to find, like, you gotta look, you gotta go looking for them. For like the the not soldered ones. I don't even know why I'm taking this up here. What am I doing? <laughs> What's the plan here? Um, where am I trying to go? Am I trying to get out there? I guess I am, but how? I stretched not long ago. Oh, you would you would cringe if you heard how much I paid for my keyboard in Mothra. <laughs> I have a good reason to pay a lot of money for a nice keyboard, though, because I'm going to have a very quiet studio and almost no noise removal software at all. So I, I wanted to have very quiet switches and also a keyboard that'll last for a long time. I don't see how I could ever... The keyboard is the Vermillo C Melody... It's like an M something 107. It's the full size version with V2 Sakura switches. I'm very hyped to try it later. Was your keyboard more expensive than painting some headphones? <laughs> Slightly. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to use this keyboard for possibly like 10 years. The one I have now, I've used for eight years. Um, and it's still fine, by the way. I just wanted something quieter. Um. <laughs> Rip Mantra. I'm I'm totally blind here. I don't really see what I gotta look around some more. Like what does that do for me? I see this. Which Okay. Oh, there's a time fuck me. Okay. There's more going on here than I thought. Poor glue on the one you have. Yellow dino. Okay, so that would allow me to bring the cube over, right? Right? Let me look here. It should, and then... 
I just need to look around and see like what's going on here. So ultimately my goal is to get a small cube here. That's that's like the true goal here. Get it. There's a burb. Cute. Hi burb. He's not even flying away. Can't pick him up, sadly. Kill it, wow. What a monster. Um, the headphones, I'm just going to spray paint after all. The guy who could have airbrushed them, he said he just doesn't have time for it at the moment. Plus, it was going to cost a stupid amount of money. Like, a friend of my brother's is a professional airbrusher. Like, he does car detailing, and he's, like, insanely good at it. And my brother was like, yeah, dude, he painted a helmet for a guy a while back, and he, he basically just charged him for the, for the materials. It was, like, 40 bucks. He's, he's like, he's super nice. Like, he'll, he'll do that for you. I was like, okay. And I messaged him and he was like, hmm, yeah. So four colors of paint is going to be about $110. And then the labor is going to be about 150 <laughs> So it would have cost me $250 to get my headphones painted. What is bringing the big cube over there going to do for me, though, is what I don't understand. That's what I don't get, really. He just doesn't like me. I think the the head the the helmet job was first of all was before he got his actual shop set up, so he didn't have to like bill hours for the booth time usage. Um, and also he probably was just painting it a solid color that he already had on hand, so he probably gave him even more of a deal. Would be my guess. He definitely was like the 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 labor that he quoted me was definitely actually like not full full price for sure. He would certainly give me a deal. Okay, what the, what have I accomplished? Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. This makes sense. Wait. Does it? No, it doesn't. I was going to say I could hop on here as I'm going, but uh, full price times 1.5. Hmm. Is that a thing, tip me over? That big platform is probably as big as it is for a reason. I don't really get this, so I can press this to make it go. I could do this, sure, but like then, it's not going to let me get to there. And like, I could, I could now push it over, I guess, but the clone's obviously not going to go. I could do the reverse, I could try to get the clone to press the button and then push me, but it's, I don't understand. Maybe this will work. Let me just try. Hang on. So before we do that. They're like e-ink screens. Oh, that's <laughs> that sounds pretty expensive. Okay. So what I'm going to do is become the clone. Press that. This just feels like it's going to take too much time. It is. It's going to take way too much time. Um, so what if, instead of that, I press it, and then the clone catches a ride, and then after that, I catch a ride? No, because then it's already going to be over here in the real world. Uh, almost. Wait, no, it went back. Right, okay, that works, that works. Let's go. <laughs> the headphones don't come pre-lubed, unfortunately. Okay. Grab that. Leopold was another one of those brands I was I was looking at. They seem pretty nice as well. It was between Leopold and Vermillo mostly. There was like another company called Vortex, I think, that seemed good, but um these this Vermillo keyboard 
I just fucking loved the aesthetic of it. Vermilla's keyboards are so pretty. Keyboard comes pre-lubed, yep. Just go look up, go to like mechanicalkeyboards.com and go to Vermillo. Like just go search by brand for Ver Vermillo. It's insane like how cool their keyboards look. They got so many unique designs compared to, like it's not like normal fucking gamer keyboards with just rainbow RGB and that's like, you know, that's their idea of looking good. It's actually like a really, what am I doing? I need the cube. It's actually like really nice. Wait, no I don't. Wait, so wait, there's two... There's two separate ones here, so I'll have one extra if I can get that. Won't I? Because I can't bring that back with me. Guess I can just drop down in here, huh? So I guess there's two over here. That's weird. There's an extra one. That's really weird. Hmm. Dude, Vermelo is the brand then, duo. The, the keyboard I ordered, it just has uh, a little bit of white backlighting and the like the key haps are not, like the light doesn't come through. It's just a little bit of white light underneath. It's really nice and subtle. A lot of their keyboards are like that. Okay, that was simple enough. Sounds kind of lame. Your taste sounds kind of lame. Okay, so that moves that left, which allows the clone to press something over there, or me to press something over there. Let's find out. Wow, oh, that sucks, OBSC. If it doesn't have RGB, you're revoking my camera card. <laughs> That's fine, I don't need it. Who do I need to prove I'm a gamer to? I've already proved it. I don't know what that did. I sure did press it, though. <laughs> it, uh, appears to have activated something over there. Let's go see. Need to prove it to your dad? I don't give a shit what your dad thinks. But yeah, this, this is a puzzle game that's all based around the time clone mechanic, Fire Hellkite. It's pretty cool. Oh, that opened that door. Okay. Cool. Which gives me what? That. Which lets me go over there. And then there's a switch down there for that. Got it. Here's what we do. I don't need to show you my gamer license. He's gonna have to take my word for it. Nope, there's not enough time for that. Uh, this is impossible. Both can't be done at once. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Hmm. Did it just reset the whole... It didn't, right? Did, wasn't there a cube there for me to climb up that I put there? It reset the fucking cube, but it didn't reset that door. That's weird. Why? <sighs> Prove to us that this is not pre-recorded. You're playing way too well for being live. <laughs> Am I now? Says the man who just jumped off a ledge. Good point. Good point. Out of all the stuff that I ordered for my studio setup, the dumbest thing that I ordered is the white version of the mouse that I already have to match the other white stuff that I ordered. I mean, I'm going to sell the mouse that I have for almost as much as I paid for it, I'm sure, but still, it's pretty dumb. Um, I paid like $20 more for the white edition, and I'm probably going to sell this for like 50 bucks. so it's basically like I paid probably 30 or 40 bucks or something. Not, not terrible. <laughs> um, I don't really get how we can have both of those activated. I mean, what about the cube? Can we get that up here somehow? That's just a lift. That could bring the cube to there. Oh, yeah, okay. But then I won't be able to get up. So can I use the clone to just go do that, maybe? Yeah, I think I can. Got it. 
first of all. Put that there. Oh wait, no, but I would have to be- I would have to be standing here in order to allow it to be put on the thing. <laughs> I am- I am not, Metries, no. I am not. Hello, that's what you used. How's it going? Because I need to be able to get back up as well. I will not sign the mouse. Um, is that really the answer, getting the cube over here? Because once, like, if I use the clone to get me over there, once I'm there, there's no time portal to use, so, like, I'd have to come back and restart. It needs to all happen in one go. Like, the clone needs to get down there and do that after, but there's not enough time. So, you should probably conclude that you need the cube there, most likely. Just can't really get it up here. But how am I going to do that without going down? Hmm. It doesn't seem possible, does it? it just doesn't seem possible. Unless there's like another cube over there. But there's not. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to show you the studio. Don't you worry. I'm going to be very... Very proud of the studio when it's done, so. If I order my acoustic art panel from the Canadian company that I found, it, it's gonna have a six week lead time though, so I probably wouldn't get it for seven weeks, which means I'll have to like, you know, start up with the studio without it. Which will suck. Mm. Explain acoustic art panel. Acoustic panels absorb sound in the room so you don't get reverb reflections off the wall like echo and You can get custom ones that are have like an art design printed on them. So it just looks like a canvas art print I'm getting one of my logo hmm. Just hang up some mattresses. Yeah, totally Spoken like someone who gives no fucks what anything looks like it's not even enough room to hang mattresses, even if I wanted to do something that insane. I stream? I've been known to. I don't get it, chat. This doesn't make any sense. I'm angry. Maybe I can cheese and have the clone hand it to me. Let's, let's find out. Because that's pretty low right there. Oh, it would absorb sound. No doubt about that. Damn. Hmm. It looked like it almost wanted to go to me for a second. This is the logo in this in the center. Yeah, it's just it's my logo on. I'm just gonna. I'll just show you what I went with. It's pretty simple. This is a 28,000 by 14,000 pixel image, so I don't know how OBS is going to react. <laughs> never, never tried putting something of that size in before. It simply doesn't. <laughs> it will not accept it. This is not showing up. OBS just does not appreciate that file. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just uh, resize it in paint real quick so we can look at it on stream. Give me a sec. Actually, I have a smaller version right here. I think the shade of the background might be slightly different. No, that's too dark. That's not the one. Uh, hang on. No, that's too light. Okay, it's kind of like that. That's that's the one. Okay. 
This might be slightly different from the final print that I that I did, but panel art, final gray or panel art gray. What's the what's the hotkey to make it like fit to the scene again? I took my logo, logo and just, well, it's not gonna, it's a 2 by one it's not like a 16-9 format, but yeah. I took my logo and gave it like a tiny outline and a little golden glow and put it on the geometric background. I was, it was a toss-up between that and this. Hang on. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't, I don't have a single one of this, but... This is... I was comparing three options here, but yeah. <laughs> it was a toss-up between that and this. I went with the logo, ultimately. Both were good options, though. The logo is better, yeah. It's, it's just... It's more, uh... I don't know. More neutral. It works better for, like... For what it is. It, it works better for the format, particularly, like, the wide format. Um, chat, this is impossible, and I'm gonna refund it on Steam. Because it just, it just can't be done. But thank you for watching. Up until this point. I'm gonna get over there, but there's not gonna be anything to do, so I don't know what I'm hoping for here. not possible. You just can't do it. You gotta be able to have this down with a cube. See, so yeah, the fact that that's a bridge and not a, a moving platform suggests as much as well. So you definitely are getting the cube there. That's definitely your end goal. But how you could ever do that, I have no clue. I would have to have... I would have to have this like this, for starters. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, the upcoming, upcoming games is a combination of, like, stuff I'm planning to play soon and stuff I'm planning to play, like, in the future when it comes out. I haven't been doing a good job of updating it recently, though. I'm gonna do that, uh tomorrow, because this is my day off. Is that schedule in Rex's stream? What, you mean the thing that I've had for months and months and months? Consistently? Crazy. What a concept. I mean, I can make the clone do that, and then I could go put the cube there, but then I'm stuck. And I can't get back up from there. This is... I'm losing it, chat. I'm fucking losing it. It's not possible. Am I blind? Maybe. What did that do again? That opened that door back there. This literally makes no sense. Dude. I'm getting frustrated. I genuinely do not get how this is possible in the slightest. <laughs> nice. Wow, very impressive, Jada. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Give me a second.
It's about my car. But they put me on hold now, so <laughs> give me another second. can't fucking believe it, chat. The news that I just got about my car. So my car is in the shop because my driver's side window controls don't work except for the driver's side window itself. Like, all the other ones that you should be able to roll down don't work. The passenger side window control, when you're actually sitting on the passenger side, doesn't work on the front. Um, the airbag light and seatbelt light were both coming on intermittently. Uh, and I already had the, the car in and looked at for all of this. They told me that for the, the windows, I needed new switches, both of them, which seemed weird, but okay. I ordered them and paid for them to be put in today. Uh, but <laughs> nope. Nothing to do with that, so that's a couple hundred dollars of, of wasted money on something I didn't need. And the 
airbag and seatbelt thing I also had in already for, among with other lights that were coming on, they told me I needed a new battery. And I bought a new battery. And that was a few hundred dollars. And now those lights are coming on again. And they told me that it's because, and I'm not fucking with you, underneath the carpet, down inside the body of my car where I can't see it, there is a foot of water. A foot, he said, of water. Somehow water is leaking into my car. And the wires in there are all corroded. There's a foot of water, he said. And it's frozen solid in, into ice right now, of course. So they can't do anything about it until they can put it in overnight and let it melt uh, some other day. No, I can't hear it when I accelerate and stop because it's frozen to fucking ice. I can't hear shit. So now... They have no idea how the water's getting in. I've never had my window open and, and w have water get in. The only time a window was ever down uh, was when my passenger side window wouldn't, wouldn't roll back up. So I taped it up with uh, trash bags and everything. And, like, I checked the car after that. No water had gotten in. Like, there was nothing wet anywhere. But in the last, like, several weeks or couple months, somehow, somehow... <laughs> A fucking foot of water has gotten in, like snow, I guess, and melted into water. Freezed back into snow, I have no idea. No, not in the door. He said under the carpet. He said he said it must be about a foot of water under the carpet, and it's frozen into ice. He said he's going to show me pictures when I go pick up my car. The problem with this is like, okay, fine, it's another few hundred dollars. He said it's a few hours of labor to... uh to get it fixed. Um, the things that happen to me are ridiculous. I know, right? And it's always when I feel like, is when I find out, like, you know, you know, money situation's looking all right. <laughs> Probably going to be able to pay off some debt and, and whatnot. It's like, nope, fucking foot of water in your car. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You thought you could have some money? Suck my bag. Fucking chew on my bag wrinkles. You don't get money. Yeah, go read that tweet if you want to know how cursed I really am with cards. <laughs> well, series of tweets. Anyway, um... Back to the game. I don't... I still don't understand. I feel like this is really simple and I'm being fucking stupid. But I don't get it. We definitely have to get to there. Get the cube to there. In order to do that, this has to be... Sometimes the condensation and the AC leaks exactly at this spot. Hmm, I, I don't know. I'll, sh I'll show the pictures. The problem is, is, like, even if I get it fixed, I have no idea where the leak is coming from. And they said they don't know. And they said they had a similar issue that they worked on recently. And they, they couldn't figure out where it came from. Like, where the water was coming from. They're calling me back. <laughs> Hold on.
apparently. So there's water. It's all on the driver's side, and it's in the front and the back. And apparently, like, the mats and everything are all saturated, and but it's frozen solid. So I didn't notice because... Oh, I should wake up. I didn't notice because, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not, like, wet. It doesn't feel wet when I get in because it's just frozen solid. And then there's just a bunch of ice under the mats. And, like, the mat in the back, apparently, you can, like, really see it's, like, frosted up and everything. <laughs> but, like, I don't use... Like, I open the back of my car almost never. It's, it's only me driving. <sighs> the car is a 2011 Buick LaCrosse. Uh, the engine is the six cylinder. Water in the car floor. Never seen that ever, and I do. And I have a friend who had every possible issues. <laughs> so yeah, your car. There's 90 pounds of dog shit in it now. <laughs> oh my god. I, I have no fucking luck. Um, I ordered parts online because they were way cheaper. They they quoted me like over a hundred dollars for each switch, but I got them online for like forty or fifty dollars each. But then of course I paid I paid for the labor as well to install them. Chat, give me a hint. I'm fucking I'm tired of this puzzle. I don't understand it. It seems impossible. I'm clearly missing something stupid. Somebody give me a hint. I don't care who. Just whoever the fuck. Blurt them out, Volva. Throw. Throw you can't throw. You can't throw. You can place. You can't throw. The car does not have a sunroof. No. No sunroof. Fuck knows how much this shit's gonna cost. Even if... You know, it's not even including the fact that we can't find... The, uh... The source of the leak. They have no idea. Drop... Drop while clone. It's another cube from the previous puzzle. There's no ability to bring a cube here. There's no fucking way. The cube's behind. It's it's across a bridge with a hole. Um. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't understand. Like. Obviously, I want to move the cube as the clone, but... Oh. The cube doesn't follow the same rules as the clone. Fuck me, that's... My brain doesn't like that. That never occurred to me, because if you try to go on a platform that I move in the future after the clone you know, goes to a certain place, the clone just falls through, but the cube is not back in time like the clone is. The cube's actually here, I guess, so it can actually be moved. But that's, man, I never... My brain just was not going there. Uh, I can't focus at all now. I'm, like, so incredibly frustrated. It, this is gonna end up costing me, like, fucking $2,000 or something by the time it's over. The thing that I'm worried about the most is that I have no idea how I'm going to find the source of the leak. I don't know what to do, and if they can't find it, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Just hope it doesn't leak again? <laughs> it's going to leak again. Might be coming through the spare wheel place in the trunk. How would I even check, though? Like, how would I test it? I have no idea. How is that not... I didn't put it on the button? What? What? Now I have to do everything... <clears throat> Feel if it's if it's wet. Yeah, but like surely they can do that. If like I'm sure they looked around. In the audio industry, we use something similar to a car wash, a test for water for water leaks. That's something you can do, and they are just not able to do it somehow. I don't understand. How can they not find it if that's like a procedure that you can do? I'm lost. Something similar to a car wash. Sounds like they're just throwing out random ideas and making you pay for it, and then it turns out to not be the cause. That's 
every place here. That's every place. The, like, if you take your car somewhere, there is a 50% chance then that what they did is actually solving the problem, and there's no way for you to know. You, you can't just, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's true or what's fixing what. You have to just take the mechanic's word for it. That's it. That's the only choice you have. That's that's the case anywhere. All you can do is trust the mechanic unless you know what's going on yourself. But it seems like no matter where I fucking take my car around here, and it's been multiple places, it's always like I gotta take it in twice for the same problem every time. It's fucking annoying, man. So I just bought like $500 worth of parts and paid for the labor for nothing. For absolutely nothing. The only person that kind of knows cars is my cousin. So maybe I'll ask him if he can take a look. But he's he's not like, he's not a mechanic. He's just a guy who thinks he knows about cars. Like, he's interested in cars and he thinks he knows everything. But like, I mean, he knows some, but he's not a fucking expert or anything. Is there a term for this test that they do to find a leak? Because like, if I know what to what to ask for, maybe I could find a place that can do it. The fifth crystal. Hmm. Just leak test? Like, but is there a term for, like... Is it, like, a device that they use? That has a name or something? Why aren't they liable for those wrong recommendations? That's not how it works. I mean, they're trying to fix the problem. You can't prove that they're not trying to fix it, either. At that point in time, it's time for a new car. No fucking way. I am not... I am not paying for another new car. What's the date on that tweet? About my other car. I paid $5,000 out, out, out of pocket for this car. Because I can't get a loan. Because I don't have a normal source of income. Because I'm self-employed. May 2019. So, in... Like, a couple months before that, in 2019, I bought a used car. Uh, for $3,000, just something basic, because I don't need anything fancy, I barely drive. Um, it, it turned out that the whole fucking frame underneath was rusted, and even though I had two places check it, neither found it, and then it ended up being fucking, you know, a write-off. So that was $3,000 gone. Then I had to buy this new car for $5,000. I went for something a little nicer this time, so that it would last. And, you know, I had it looked at again and everything, and it was fine. So I it, I had to pay it a pocket for that, and I still, like, only this month am going to be fully repaying it. Like, the, that, the money that I owe on my line of credit is from buying that car out of pocket. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish repaying that this month. And you're telling me I might have to buy another new car? If I do, I'm just going to fucking... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I just can't believe what I'm what's happening right now. Do you really... Th what do you guys think? Do you guys think I, I'm gonna need a new car? Tell me no. Just please, tell me no. Buy a $500 shitbox. I don't... I don't want a piece of shit, though. Water damage is real bad. You're gonna say no? I hope you're right. This so is why you're saying a mechanic wouldn't do something like that. Just going through a car wash with you and a buddy, one in front and one. Chat scrolling too fast. One in front and one in back, and keeping your eyes open is a decent alternative that might help you find it. God damn it. You know what water causes, right? Rust. Yep. Yep. I think if. If, I, if my car is actually really fucked, the the passenger side front window would not open. No, it wouldn't close. I was able to roll it down, and then it wouldn't go back up, so I had to get that, like, manually moved back up. Um, and I checked thoroughly to make sure that it wasn't leaking, and there was no leaking at that time. And now they're... And also, I think the problem was happening before that, in fact. So I don't even know. I'm very confused. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of lost. I forget where I am. Can't go back that way. I'm, I'm just too, uh... But I need to go back that way, because I got the triangle. Hold on, what? No, yeah, the, the, the window issue was caused, apparently, by the wiring being fucked by the leak. So the leak was before the window. Many cars have wet areas where water is allowed to get inside. The doors is commonly okay. Often the rear quarter panels are also allowed to get water inside. I know it's normal to get water in the doors, because there's even a, a spot to, like, drain it, usually, right? But, uh... There's some Buick forms about water on driver's side, so maybe they'll help. Could you message it to me on Discord, then? Sounds like it could be helpful. No, I haven't used the car wash with the windows down. I'm just, I'm so frustrated. Like, I'm frustrated to the point that I want to stop streaming. Like, I'm in a really bad mood now. And I, I don't know where to go. I don't know what's happening. I came in here from back there. We did multiple puzzles here to get this triangle, which we now need to take back here, but I can't go back. I do have uh, an undercoating, the good one. I can't remember. It's there's it starts with a K maybe, but it's a it's a nice undercoating. Granted, I got it two years ago, but that's about the lifespan of it. I should probably get it done again soon. Um. Fuck. You may not get it right. <laughs> Sorry. Chat, am I stupid? Like, am I supposed to go back this way somehow? I think I'm stupid. I don't get it. Newfoundland does put a lot of salt on the roads, which is why an undercoating is pretty much necessary. It's weird that you know that, Dragon. <laughs> okay, give me a hint as to where to go then. Actually, no, tell me where to go. Does anyone know where to go? I'm fucking, I'm lost. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go back. Because I got the triangle. Oh, you live in New... I didn't know you lived in Newfoundland. You probably told me before and I forgot. I am wandering aimlessly. It's, it's a vulva. Tell me where to go. I don't understand. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I have to go back, but I can't. What else can I do? You still live in Steamville. Oh, nice. There's nowhere to go. That's just a puzzle over there. It's it's a dead end. It leads to a crystal. Maybe I have to get back in the airship for something. Maybe it's this. Is this like a teleport? What is this? Fuck me. Seriously? <laughs> That's so random. God damn it, man. It's dumb as hell. Is this just a loading screen? <laughs> Is that all this is for? The camera panned right to it while I was ranting. That's fair. But... <sighs> no, he doesn't. He holds it the best he can. He doesn't have opposable thumbs. I just... Uh, the fact that they can't find where the leak is coming from blows my mind. So, the name of the test is a leak test. Just take me back into that area. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And there's there's nothing I can there's nothing else besides that that I could ask. It can take weeks of training for a new inspector to be able to find leaks. I don't know what that means. Often just a few drops of water. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. What? Did we already... We went in the pyramid originally, right? And this is different? Is that... Correct? I did not drive into an ocean, no. Pretty sure I didn't. I mean, they're, they're mechanics with, like, years of experience. Finding the water leak is in a huge spurt of water. It's a tiny bit getting in impossible. You hunt trim panels or inside parts of the car you can't see. Yeah, but you said there's a test for it, so, like... 
is that something they can do? How does it, how does it work? Can, can I just bring it to a mechanic who can do that? Mechanics aren't car inspectors. What? So what... I, this is where I came from, isn't it? No, we've done this. I'm going backwards. Mechanics aren't car inspectors. What's a... How do I... What? Mechanics are car inspectors here. You were suggesting I try and find the leak in a car wash. Oh, I could have sworn you said that they would do... Like, the method you would use is something similar to a car wash. Um, but, yeah, all mechanics in, in this area... Or at least the vast majority are in fact certified inspectors. Um, it's it's something that is required so that they can inspect cars to know that they're roadworthy. I just I'm my, I'm not focusing on this game enough right now. I'm I don't know where to go. Wait, is that one usable? This is where I came from in the. No, that's that's a path I did already, right? Oh, no, the triangles go in here. Fucking... I was thinking I came from here. The triangle goes in here, and then another one's gonna open. That just fucked with my head so much. Like, I, I can't focus at all. But the guy said he's gonna text me pictures. A hose can work, but is isn't always enough pressure. You need at least 20 PSI and at least 5 minutes spraying in the same spot to get a significant amount of water to see. I don't understand. I don't understand. <sighs> like... Did it get in when it rained? Well, obviously it got in from rain or snow or both. Um, it's been there for a while, too, it seems like. It would just, like, if I had to write this car off, I would actually be depressed again. That will actually fucking destroy me if I have to write off this car. Five thousand dollars with it... <laughs> Which is money that I desperately need to not spend right now. Like, I was just, again, again, just gonna be in a better financial position. Within a few days, I'm getting the payment from the, the big sponsorship, and I was gonna be able to pay down the majority, if not all, of the money I owe on my line of credit. And now... It's all gonna have to go to a new fucking car, probably. Even if it's a chance, I'm I'm really worried and frustrated. Even if it's not guaranteed, no. But even if it's a chance. I just can't believe the timing and the luck. It's so infuriating. Nobody I know has anything like this happen to them. I'm the only one that I know. They- they don't have the ability to do that, apparently, Shanga. Like, nobody! Nobody has ever had any fucking wild shit happen with their cars like this. Fuck's sake. Hang on, gotta wait a little bit longer. What's a good idea? I don't, like, if they, if we can find out where the leak is, I'll pay to get it fixed, unless it's like a, you know, thousand dollars, in which case, I'm, well, I might still for a thousand dollars, but, um, the problem is finding it, like, there's no guarantee that we're gonna find it. Also, yeah, we don't even know if the block of ice will thaw overnight if it's as big as they're saying it is. I, I don't even believe you, Malkavo. <laughs> there's no way. There's just no fucking way. The window did not get fixed as such, no. The window... The window is busted because of the leak, is what they've discovered. That the, the wires are corroded. 
Um, so that happened before the window thing, and the window was put back up, and no water got in from that. So it's not that. That that came afterwards. As long as the water is solid, it's probably not an issue. <laughs> but my windows are fucked, and I don't know how much more damage is being done. Also, my airbag sensor and my Irolamor, no. <laughs> don't. That is a crazy amount of money, man. I thank you. That is insane. $250. I am not trying to to bait people to give me money. I really appreciate that. It's super generous. I needed to do this. No, that's right. This is this is right. Sometimes people are nice. That that will definitely help at least pay for the the cost of getting this looked at for sure. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't know anyone with a lifting platform. Nope. I have no idea what to do. Thank you, Planking Witch, for the 313 sub. Appreciate it. Cars have usual trouble spots where leaks happen most often. You'll probably be able to find it, even if it takes a lot of time checking meticu meticulously. But they said they don't know where it's coming from, so I don't, I don't know. If they can't find it, I'm worried that I won't be able to find it. I don't know shit. I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. But maybe, I, maybe if I call around, there's somewhere else I could take it that will be able to, to do it. I, I don't know. I think it's a pretty fair conclusion that the wiring, because the wires are all in there where the ice is. I mean, it's 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 a pretty fair conclusion that that's the problem. I don't I don't think. I I think I think it's actually the, the correct issue this time. The leak spot maybe underneath a foot of ice. It wouldn't be able to have a water level higher than the leak, would it? How is this gonna work? Oh. Huh, wait a minute. So... Uh... Okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I had the car brought to the dealer, like the actual dealer for, for Buick in the area recently. That's who I brought it to for the windows. They told me that it was the switches. And that's why I ordered the switches. And it wasn't the switches. And they didn't notice the water. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm an idiot. I mean, who says it's going to take hours for a mechanic to look for it? A damaged or deformed door seal to a blocked air conditioning drain hose or damaged heat exchanger. It sounds like there's a million possibilities and almost no chance for me to find anything. This is extremely concerning. Whoever, like, if any of you guys feel like you could be helpful to me in terms of, like, just sending me a message later in, like, that I could have a better look at, like, with some spots to check or, like, what I should do or something, it would be very much appreciated because I'm not really absorbing any of this at the moment. Wait till picks. Well, oh, wait. I have a video message. So he must have sent this. Hang on. I'm going to take a look. Dude, what is this? What did he send me? It looks like it was taken on a flip phone from 2005. And it's like, all you can see is what I guess is ice. And he's just like tapping on it. 
I have to show you how useless this video is. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my Dropbox so I can put it on <laughs> put it on stream. I need you to see what he just sent me. This is absurd. It's not useful at all. It's like it's it's no better than him describing it to me. In fact, it's worse. You can't see anything. Okay. It's in the Dropbox. <laughs> Let me find it. Oh, I gotta do this on the other computer. Hang on. <sighs> this is just unbelievable, man. It's a .3GPP file. What the fuck is that? Is that just a format with like sending a video message over text or something that it converts it to? Can OBS accept this or am I going to have to like convert it? 3GPP. Uh, media source, is that what I want? It's a low quality video format that YouTube also uses. That's a, literally a flip phone video format. Oh my good fucking god. I I'm gonna have to convert it. It doesn't accept it. <laughs> uh I no, I'm doing it though. I need you to see. It's a format used for 3G mobile connections. I'm going to die, IRL. Holy fucking shit. It's an audio and video container. Used in 3G cell phones. <laughs> what is going on in my fucking life, man? Jesus Christ. Convert to... MP4. That'll work. No, I have VLC. I'm trying to show it on stream, though. VLC would play it, yeah. It's not even the right file. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Did I... Is this the wrong... So confused. I think I somehow put the wrong file. <laughs> when I just capture VLC and OBS, well, that might have worked, but maybe if I click share, can I share it to myself or something? It says add to Dropbox, but. Hang on. I'm not giving up. I, I just need to show you how fucking shitty it is. I'm going to make it work. You can send it through 3G. <laughs> okay, Dropbox is syncing. No, it had to be the right video because it's a dot three gp Okay, that's it. It's the one. Oh, I can just... Wait, I can just show it on... <laughs> wait a minute. I have it on my game PC, so I can literally just do this. Okay, this is this is what he sent me. <laughs> what? What is that? I apparently he's talking. I. Try to try to pick try to figure out what he said. <laughs> I think he said it's all froze, I can't even get it up. 
<laughs> That's Nufi. He says it's all froze. I can't even get it up in Nufi speak. Yep, that's what he sent me. <sighs> At least there's some humor in that. I actually can't believe he sent me that video. <laughs> can't even tell if he's looking at a car. Yeah, I think that was the. I think that was him trying to get the carpet up, but it was too frozen. There's a hole that's supposed to leak out of water from the bottom of the door, and you guess it's completely frozen over. You think that could be it? All right, what are we doing here? Who is that? That's that was the mechanic looking at my car. Who is that person? I can't even get it up. <laughs> can't they just heat the car? Well, it's gonna take a long time for that to thaw, like overnight. Um. So the cube can't get up. I'm very. I'm, I'm starting to feel like a fucking idiot. I can't, can't do anything. There's nowhere to, to get the cube up. Oh, can I? Oh, yeah. This is stupid. I can get the cube over. Instead of... Yeah, I can get the cube over instead. No, but I can't because I can't fucking get... Idiot. My car is in the shop because the windows, the, the power window controls don't work. And the the airbag and seatbelt sensor are coming on as well. Hmm. Send it for 3k, like new. <laughs> Not quite your car's gear, it could be the same issue. <clears throat> Water leak on driver and or passenger side floor. Across 2013. After a heavy rain period or car wash, could be caused by a void in the sealer that could allow water to pass from the body structure into the driver or passenger compartment area. Don't know. I feel like if it applied to my car, it would have been included, I guess, but hard to say. Thank you very much, Planking Witch, for the uh, three months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, and thank you, John, for gifting a sub 36 minutes ago that I didn't even notice. Oh, I missed the tip. Sorry. Um, hang on a second. Too distracted. Oh, the tab crash. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All cars are is for water getting, water getting through holes in sealer. I feel like this is something obvious that they would check. Should be anyway. Uh. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Grammar Socialist. For also gifting $250? Oh my. Jesus. I'm, how did I miss that? I feel so bad. Thank you. You guys are, are nuts. That's... That should, like, cover the costs for all the stuff so far. Fuck no. Well, maybe not quite, but, like, a lot of it for sure. That's, that's, that's huge, guys. Thank you. That makes me feel better for sure. It, as long as it can be repaired for less than, like, a thousand dollars, I think it's fine. Like, because the car's still in great shape otherwise. It only has 120,000 kilometers, which is, what, like, 80k miles or something? Um, it's like a really nice car to drive. So, like, if, if it can be fixed, and we can find where the leak is, I think I'm gonna reapply seam sealer on the inside and outside of the body where I believe water could potentially be entering through the inner fender well. It seems to be the logical area as the water is contained to the driver's floorboard was directed to inspect grounds up under the dash, as this could be the reason the window switches are acting up as well. We'll share pictures once I get everything turned back apart to do the repair. Uh, what, what car was that about? Oh, do we have cursed audio right now? <laughs> we do. I didn't even notice. Good God. Shrek Rex. Haha. -ha. I am just too scatterbrained for puzzles right now. 
Like, I can't even comprehend how this is possible. I feel so fucking stupid. <laughs> So the clone can do what? What are the options? The clone could stand here and open this. If that's what I do, then I can put the cube there, but it'll go on without me. Um, if... If I could have the clone stay here long enough to do this... Okay, I don't think I do have enough time, but let's try. So if I can get over there, put the cube down, and come back and press that button in time... No, but that's not going to do anything, because... I was gonna say I can get the cube across, right? But the problem with that is that I won't be able to get across. God damn it. Yeah, I bought this car off of an old lady that didn't drive much, and I don't drive much, so like there's not a there's not a ton of miles on the car. Um and I got a I got a good deal on it. Like if I were to sell it now, I don't know what it's worth. Someone should look it up. It's the it's the V6 2011 Buick LaCrosse. I think it's the the second trim up, not the not the top of the line, but the second. 120k is not a ton for a, a 10 year old vehicle. No, not at all. It's probably might not be worth as much as I paid for it, but it's probably worth a decent amount still. Because it was worth, like, double what I what I paid for it by rights, but, like, she couldn't sell it because nobody wants to buy a full-size car like that anymore. Um. Trying to find some sucker to pawn a soggy car off to. I'm just curious what the value is. I don't understand, like, what... Like, I could... It was definitely frozen for a while. I don't know exactly how long. I could do this, right? Like, I could take the cube over here with the clone and stand on this. And then I could try to, like... It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. There's no way. Like, I could do this, but, like, then I'd have to do that, too. It just doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Oh, what if... Wait a minute. Hang on. Bring the cube back. Wait. Am I stupid? Yeah, I'm stupid as fuck. I'm a fucking moron. This, this game is, like... I don't know, my brain is not compatible with the type of puzzles it has or something. I keep forgetting the way, like, the logic of the, uh... The clone, and, like, the clone doing stuff to the cube... ...will still persist, even if the clone... I don't know, I'm just, I'm not quite in the right mindset yet. I'm kind of distracted. Um, it's, it's been below freezing for a few months, for sure. These are always confusing, yeah, but even more so for me right now. More than normal, I think. My brain is being assaulted by thoughts of, like, worst-case scenarios and everything right now. Like, at the very, the very best case is that I'll only be out, like, $1,500 to $2,000. Instead of a whole car's worth of money. That's- that's the best case right now. Fucking amazing. I don't understand what I can do in there. Seems like nothing, actually. Stress makes brain smooth, yep. Well, clearly I'm not supposed to do this, but... It kind of feels like I might be able to. They must have checked this. Like it, likeliest culprit looks like a bad seal, so that should be cheaper and less serious. Hmm. Um. Yeah, just if if you guys think you like have any insight into what it could be, it would be awesome if you could just like Discord message me like some stuff that I could have a mechanic look at, or like have my cousin help me look at or something. Like he might know. That'd be super helpful. Cause I like I I'm gonna need something to go on. 
at the very least. Turtle. Big turtle statue. Okay, that respawns that over there. <laughs> Thanks, Tromka. Hope it's not a meme. There's a lot going on here. Orange dino. I feel bad because the, uh... Okay, thanks, Dragon. Appreciate it. I feel bad because the vibe of the stream has taken, like, a fucking nosedive, but... You know, what can you do? I don't know why I've done this. I should've just came over here normally. Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to do. So, this is just on, but only because the cube is there. Okay. So if I were to put... Does this just send it over? Yeah, okay, all I have to do is put the cube there and press the button as the clone. That's all I gotta do. Yeah, it had to be offset spell. <laughs> it was too powerful. Alright, there we go. Now we can get the cube over here. Man, it just it's so overwhelming to think about. I was so like I was feeling so happy because of the fact that I was gonna be in like a stable financial situation and maybe be able to like save a bit of money for once. And that's not gonna happen now. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what are we doing here? I could What makes that move, actually? What does, uh... What does this connect to? I can't even see, like, I have no idea... There must be something around here. The car was a 2011 Buick LaCrosse. What am I even getting- like, what am I trying to do, even? I'm not even sure, like, where I'm going right now. Like, I guess I could get the cube to here? Oh wait, there's a button. I'm fucking blind. Oh, that goes up and then probably over. Okay. So, in that case... Maybe I can just... I feel like that's not gonna be enough time. Let's just see if I could have made that. Or if I could have made it faster, even. Huh. That's... a problem. Caribbean Talos Principle. <laughs> sort of. Hmm. I'm kind of not sure. Yeah, 2011 Buick LaCrosse, uh... CXL trim or something. It's the V6. There's no way I'm gonna get there fast enough for this to work. The reason I bought that car is just because it was, you know, a good a good deal for how like nice of a car it was with low mileage from, like, an elderly couple who probably didn't put it through too much abuse. Um, I just, like, I don't care that it's a big car and guzzles gas, because I barely drive, so, like, it's not really, I don't really care what it is. Hmm. Hmm. CXL trim equals causes exhaustive leaks. <laughs> ah, yes. All of these should be so simple, but I just, I'm so fucking brain dead right now. Duh, it's the same fucking thing again. It's the same exact thing that I couldn't wrap my head around. We use the clone to move the cube first. Which saves me a little bit of time. And then I can just beeline. We do that. Can't see our favorite dino set. <laughs> Too late. Alright. 
So now I just want to do this. I feel like it's still not going to be enough time, though. This can't be right. It just can't be. No, it's not. Do it. Oh. <laughs> I see. That's not what I expected at all. <laughs> um... All right. What else can I do here? There's also like, what's that? You see what I'm looking at there? That orange, like, because I thought that's where the the platform over there was gonna go, but it's not. This is something else. There's like an orange trim here. I don't know why though. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. That is connected to that though. Does it go all the way up and around? Oh my fuck. <laughs> oh. That's... Uh, I should have just stayed on the button. I never would have thought that that does that, but I guess it's kind of obvious from that, if you think about it. So all I do is put the cube on there and then just fucking make it come over. That That's it. That's the puzzle. Just, just figuring out that it goes to there is, is the puzzle, pretty much. Hmm. At least I know. This might not work. I think I know what to do though. Basically, if I if I do this myself, if I do this myself, let it get most of the way, then it will not reset when I go into the time portal. So then I can use the clone to do the remainder, basically while I go over there. There we go. I'll just wait long enough for me to reach that. Perfect. There we go. Gamer gaming. Okay, so what did that do for me? It allowed me to get a cube out to go over there. Right, 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 right. That was the whole point, wasn't it? This opens the door, okay. What about this over here, though? Because you can't cross here with the cube. So... I don't really understand that. Also, wait, this this looks like... Yeah, that's a mechanic I don't even have, like, that's an interacting with that crystal. I don't even know what that is. So I'll probably be able to do it after this, whatever this is. Yellow. It is yellow. I just, I just can't believe that, like, the amount of times I've had my car in the shop over the last couple months and nobody has noticed this. That's, that's one of the most frustrating things about it. All the opportunities that, that could have, you know, where they could have fucking noticed this, especially, especially considering one of them was me taking my car in for the window issue. Like, you would think they would have investigated the wiring related to it and notice the water. Like, you think they would have checked where the wiring is, right? Hmm, what does this do? How did, they, how did they look into that problem only to determine that it was the switches? I, I don't know. Like, when it wasn't. <sighs> Should sue them. <laughs> so now I can record from anywhere. Cool. Need. No need for silly gates. I think they check the switches first. Yeah, but wouldn't they check it all? Like, to see... Isn't that, like, the fucking point of... That's what I hired them to do, to find out what was wrong with it. But they looked at one thing and, and just, like... There was no way for them to even confirm it was the switch, really, was there? Because, like... 
the, uh, you know, they couldn't make it work. So they should have, like, looked at all the potential problems. Oh, I actually looked at this and thought I had to do something with that crystal. It's a fucking button, you clown. <laughs> God damn it. Not if the first thing fixes it. Well, yeah, if, um... If they had been able to identify an issue and fix it specifically, then yeah, but... Um, they couldn't get them to work. Like, they couldn't get them to work was the thing, so... They should have looked and, and like, tried to find any possible source of issues instead of just concluding it's the switches and telling me to order the part. Which then, in turn, did, did nothing. Infuriating. Like, I literally paid them, and their labor is, like, super overpriced there. He charged me an hour of labor for that. Yeah, they just said the switches were dead. That's that's it. They just They just said that. They just decided that that's the case. Based on what? I don't fucking know. Nothing, I guess. Their labor is like $125 an hour at the dealer. It's like insane. They charged me $125 an hour plus tax to say that uh, it's the switches when it's not the switches. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I took it to the dealership because my dad said, uh, because it's like an electrical issue, they would be more suited to do it or some shit. I, I, don't, I don't know. So that's why I did that. Usually true. Well, in this case, they did fuck all. <laughs> all they did was tell me to buy a part I don't need. And then I brought my car in somewhere else for a different issue. And they also told me to buy a part I don't need. Actually, no, it wasn't a different. It was it was the same issue plus another issue. But I think the root issue was actually the same thing in the end. Thanks, Frothy Fridge. I waited way longer to do that than I needed to. <laughs> wow, Rose. That's fucked. Um, Alright. Put the old switches back and sell the new ones. I mean, that would... It's, it's not a simple job, unfortunately, with this car to replace the switches. They do have to take the door apart. Like, sometimes you can just hot swap them real easy. Not with this car. Awesome, thank you, Tip. I appreciate it. Big big market for switches on a 2011 Buick, yeah. I could try to put them on eBay. It's just not worth it. They were like $50 or less each. One was like $50, one was $30 or something like that. The labor was like the more expensive part of it, really. The guy, um... The guy said he would, uh charge me only half an hour labor instead of an hour. <laughs> he seemed to feel bad for me, so that's nice. I'm still out, like, I don't know, $150 or something. I guess it could be worse. Could definitely be worse. I basically, like, I ordered the switches basically thinking, like, you know, they're cheap enough. We might as well try and see if this is it. So I guess, uh, I guess it, it's kind of like something that I anticipated could happen. Just something told me it wasn't the switches because like it's really it'd be really weird if two switches failed like at the same time. Like how would they not conclude that there's like some other issue going on that's like common to the two of them? Like if I were a mechanic and like someone said both sides switches don't work. Like, surely the first thing you would think would be, like, if there's if there's wires common to the two of them, surely the first thing would be to check anything that, like, is a common denominator between the two, right? Like, wouldn't that make fucking sense? Wouldn't that be the first fucking thing that you do? They just really hoped it would be the easiest thing to fix. I guess. I don't know. Like... Do the dash lights come on around the same t 
time. Uh, yeah, I like I've been having issues with the window switches and the the dash lights for a while now. Love how the manufacturer has known about the issue since at least 2013, but 2019 models are still affected. They didn't bother to fix it. They kept releasing bulletins saying, "Oh yeah, this new model is also affected." What the fuck, dude? What was wrong with them? It wasn't exactly the same time, I don't think, but it was similar time, similar time frame. Oh, that's not going to get me far enough. Oh, but I can just do it again. Halfway through, can't I? We can just kind of go like that. And then when this, when it comes back, we're going to be there. There we go. Holy fuck, I did, I did a puzzle without sitting there and staring at it like a fucking idiot for 10 minutes. Didn't think it was possible. But yeah, like the... The uh, ABS warning light and the tracking control warning light were the first two... That was the first problem. Those were coming on, and I brought it to... A, a whole other mechanic entirely. Oh, this isn't gonna work. We need the cube. It was a it was a third mechanic, different than than all the other ones in this story so far. <laughs> um, and what did they say? I'm trying to remember. And it was also the tire sensors. So they. Oh yeah, they said it was like some kind of sensor strip needed to be replaced. Um, for, for the tracking control and the, the ABS lights. And then they, they got fixed for a while. Like, they weren't coming on. And they said the wheel sensor light was I just needed new sensors. So I bought all new wheel sensors. And, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the ABS light and, and the tracking control light were off for a while. But then recently, those lights started coming back on intermittently. And so did the airbag light. And so did the, uh, the seatbelt light. And so now, now we're where we are here, like, where I fucking brought it in and they... No, the first I took it to the dealer, so I, it's three places. After the original sensor issue, I took it for the dealer for the windows, and they told me I needed the window switches, so I bought those two. Then I took it to the third place for the, uh, the lights. And they said I need a new battery, so I bought a new battery. And then the window switches came in, so I brought it back to them to put the window switches in. And and the lights came back on again, so they, they were going to look at that too. And that's, that's where we are now. They found the fucking water, finally. So this whole time, I'm betting, all of it was probably because of the water. It was probably all the water, and three places looked at the car for, for these issues and didn't find it. And now it's it's finally been found, and everything's probably fucked. Uh, and they don't even know where it's coming from. And this is after I spent... So I, I paid for this sensor thing for the ABS and the trash control. I bought four new wheel sensors that I might not have needed. I bought a new battery, and I bought window switch switches for the, the passenger and driver's side. Yep. All that. No, see, I every place I brought it to, I told them exactly what issues I had recently and what work was done in relation to those issues. So they knew, like, the context of everything every time I had it looked at. They definitely did. Just didn't think, I guess. I don't know. Just didn't care. Good, good job. You pressed the wrong button. But yeah, that's 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 the like the full story now. It's the first issues I've had with my car, and I've been trying to deal with it for a while. Does this come back automatically? No, it's not going to, and I'm going to be fucked, right? What? 
water probably just came through a wormhole. A wormhole, yeah. It sounds like during one of these fixes, they improperly resealed everything, and that's where the water comes from, but that's a guess. Man, that would be so fucking frustrating. And there's no way to know if that's the case. I just, I hope you're wrong. <laughs> would they even need to, like, open anything up that would need to be resealed when they were looking at wherever the sensor strip was? Like, I don't even know what that means, a sensor strip. But, uh... Where's the water getting into? Driver's side, front and back. All underneath the mat, like down in the body of the car. Did they mess with the doors for the window switches? No, but the problem with the windows happened very shortly after I got it back from them, like less than a week later. That's when the window switch thing started. I, I went in for the, the traction control light and the ABS light and the window, the window switches stopped working less than a week later. And like, there's no way to know like if they did something, so I don't know. Okay, what are we doing here? We need to get over and get the cube back, is the thing. How's that ever gonna work? Well, I can do it with the clone, I guess. Can I? No, not really. There would never be enough time. Not in a million years. Wait. That's not what I have to do. Yeah, this doesn't even make sense. This doesn't even make sense. <sighs> A million years would be plenty of time, of course. True. How on earth? Was there anything else to do? Instead of this? Well, I need the cube for that, it looks like, so... Not really. Other than the door, window, and body gaskets, there's very little for them to screw up. The car is a 2011 Buick LaCrosse. Uh, six-cylinder V6 thingy. <laughs> Embrace the chaos, random, and you get yellow. You think the, you're thinking the gaskets are fucked? Okay, so that's that's something at least that I can ask about gaskets. I can get someone to look at gaskets. Oh, nice, the person. It's it's a nice car, other than the fact that everything's fucked lately. <laughs> um. My, my original idea was, because it's such a long way, stand here halfway, have the clone go back and then get on that. That's all fine, but wait, can I just sacrifice myself and the cube will still be there? That's easy enough to see right away. Yeah, I don't know, like maybe they just didn't even, didn't even fucking look at all. Like, maybe they did not even attempt to find the leak whatsoever. For all I know. So can I just... Will that stay there if I just die now? How's that work? No, it won't. Man... If I could do the reverse, it'd be fine. Because the clone dying wouldn't matter. But it's not going to work like that. Because the clone, like the, for it to work with the clone, I can't do anything as not the clone after I summon the clone. So the clone would have to already be, like, going. Or no, the, the platform would already have to be going over. Is that a shop now that seems okay? Well, they're the ones that told me I needed a new battery for the, for the light stuff recently. It's the same place. And I bought a new battery, which apparently... It it helped for a week. I don't know how, but, like... The ABS lights and traction control lights didn't come on again for another week. Nor did the... The airbag or the, the seatbelt. But now those, those latter two have come back on. The mechanic grew a potato and used it to record a video. <laughs> True. So wouldn't I have to, like already have it in motion. That's what I don't understand. Like, it doesn't... How am I 
ever gonna... They probably reset the codes. So basically, they... <laughs> basically, they don't... They told me I need a new battery. They put the new battery in. And they reset something, like, just to make the sensors go... Like, the, the warnings go away. Until the car decided it, there's a problem again a week later. And now they're, they're on again. Yeah, there's a shit ton of water underneath the floor. And underneath the mats and shit. I don't understand what I can do here, unfortunately. What if... The car's computer has no battery backup, so by removing the battery, the computer restarts the default. Why didn't the lights come back on immediately, though? Like, they would come on most days, and then they didn't come on for a week. That's the only thing about that. I didn't even press it. This doesn't work, though. It gets me over there, but it doesn't get me back. I don't know. I just don't get why, like, it wouldn't come back on for such a long time. Once the code is triggered, it'll stay alive until it gets reset, but if it doesn't get triggered often, when it gets reset, it won't show up for a bit. Well, it wasn't always on. Like, it would... None of the lights would be on. But then I... Well, actually, no. The, the traction control and the ABS ones, I think, were just always on. But the, um... The seatbelt one and the airbag one, they would only come on after I would start driving and go somewhere. Like, they come on, like, five, ten minutes into driving somewhere. Typically. Or even, like, right when I get home around, like, they would they would start, they would come on. So they weren't on all the time. They would just come on when I drive somewhere after a while. And then I got the battery replaced, and they didn't come on for a whole week, but then they did again. So that's, that's weird. It's really weird. Sounds like the problem is me driving the car. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no public transit here. What if I had done that? What if I had... ...started going, but have the clone go... Maybe the clone could reach that, actually. I wonder. Water leaks can cause corrosion issues and vibration. Often movement on the wiring starts as an intermittent issue before becoming constant dead shorts or open circuits. It just doesn't explain how putting the battery in, if it wasn't the problem, fixed it for a week. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that doesn't add up. Unless it was just completely random chance that it didn't happen for a whole week, even though it was happening basically every day. Okay, so can we make this in time? Is the question. We only need to press the switch. It kind of seems like it's just far enough to not be possible. But what if I just do it from like around here? No, because then I'll still need to get it. I'll st still need it to reach again and it won't. I'm never going to get it to reach again. It's not going to happen. There's no way. And that was even, like, I, I don't think I even got it the first time. <sighs> As an electrician, sometimes readjusting things will do that. Work for a week and then one wrong movement completely fucks it. Yeah, well, I don't know. All that matters to me is the money <laughs> that this costs. And that it, like, gets, that it can be, like, definitely fixed. It feels like every mechanic around here is fucking useless. <sighs> Might need a hint. This seems impossible. I don't get it. We 
just can't... We just can't make it in time. There's no... Like, it's this far away on purpose, I guess, right? Like... I just, like, I wanted to have a fucking used car for, like, years, like, several years, pay it off, and, like, just not worry about it. Just, like, something that I don't drive often should last a while, right? Like, do the proper upkeep. That's all I want. I just want to have a fucking car that exists for more than fucking five minutes before it crumbles into dust. Chat, does anyone have a hint? I'm I'm stuck. Where I store it when I don't drive it? <laughs> Outside? I mean I don't have a garage. Um I don't live near the ocean. How cold does it get here in the winter? It's not as bad as like continental Canada at all. It gets maybe like minus fifteen on a really cold day with, with the wind chill it's probably lower, but you have an idea for the puzzle? Okay. What am I even playing? A video game. What's your idea? Your your hint. A hint for your idea, Garrox. That's the first thing I did. That's also not a hint, it's just a solution. But that's the first thing I did. It lets me make it to the button. I can get over there, I just can't get back. I'll show you what I mean. Like, the very first thing I got here, I did that within, like, 20 seconds. Ah, oh, fuck, I pressed... I keep pressing the wrong goddamn button. And, like, we get over there, but then we're stuck, is the problem. But then he might say, like, what if you can just send a clone back as it starts to move, but then the clone doesn't make it to press the button from here. Let's toggle it back. Even if I, like, fucking speed run this. There's just no way. There's just no way. The only other thing is that button resets the position of the cube to here, which is just a soft lock prevention. This is it. This is all I can do. Well, I mean, I want to press the button twice as the clone. There's just not enough time. Like, I guess if I start here... I gotta give myself enough time to reach the thing, and then I have to give it enough time to get all the way... No, there's no way. Because, look, I'd have to get to the platform by this time. Like, I probably would have been about here. At, at this point, she can only just activate it. She'll never have enough time to wait and, and like, bring it back. It's Volva mode for hints. Please give me hints, not just ideas to try. Like, and if, if, if you're gonna hint, try to be, like, confident that it's correct. If possible. The box is not on the platform, no. I wish. This just... I don't know, the puzzles feel unintuitive in this game. Asking a bit much. <laughs> Probably. I get a feeling this solution's gonna feel dumb. <laughs> I don't know, man. Even if I take the most optimal route possible, there's just no way. No. <laughs> That's not helping. Well, I could have got that. It requires at least three instances of time shifting. I don't think it's possible to get the clone to get the cube, because, like, 
the clone can only get on the platform, and then I can make, like... I don't even know how I'd have it going over in the first place, but when it got there, I can't, like, have the clone start there again. It would start here. So it has to be me that goes over there, and the clone that facilitates it. So, like... You can only clone yourself once, yeah. Unfortunately. That's never gonna work. It's just never gonna work. I'm never gonna make it. Like, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> I just need her to reach the button and turn it off from here. Hang on, wait. Do I get it finally? I think, like... Doesn't this work? Wait, I gotta reset it. The idea that I had... No, it won't work. Never mind. I don't think. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure it won't. No, there's no- no, I, I don't have anything. I thought I had something I don't. I have nothing. I have fuck all. I don't, like... I'll never make it. Oh my god, that was so close. So would I have been able to catch this? No. There's no way. So I'd have to be a little farther back and still make it. You can only have one clone, chat. Pretty sure you finally see it. I don't know, that almost seems possible. It's within the margin of possibility, I think. Optimize as possible. Gotta be closer, maybe here. And I still need to be able to catch the thing. The solution's supposed to have three uses of time shifting, so. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? This doesn't make any sense. Does it? I think I did it too fat. No, I gotta wait until... I gotta wait until the clone presses, presses the button and then do it again. I'm dumb. I am not gonna be playing <laughs> bad rats. So now we wait here. Until the instant she presses the button... Did that not work? Did I? No, I'll never make it. I'll never make it. There's no way. Yeah, whether it gives it away or not, just try your best to give a, a hint if you don't mind, Vivra. Because I, I mean, I'm at a, I'm completely at a loss here. I'm not gonna figure it out. This doesn't make any fucking sense to me at all. I don't understand how a third usage of the time ability plays into this at all. Really don't get it. I am just not good at these puzzles for some reason. Going the other way with the clone than you've been doing. But that doesn't work though. It 
just doesn't... Like, how? Like, it would... How am I going to make the clone move at all? Like, the platform has to already be moving, so... Oh, I gotta reset that first. Fuck me. The platform has to already be moving for her to get on. So I can start halfway. Have her go down and get on the platform, but then what? Like, she's not gonna be able to do anything. Like, I can't make this happen now. I can wait here and, like, I don't know, spam the button to pick it up. I don't know if that, like, does anything. No, because it doesn't affect her. Other way around? That's the way I've been doing it. You can say at what point you mean it for? The clone can't do everything. It can't. Like, the, the platform won't affect the clone if I do it. I can't, like, affect the, the clone retroactively. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> just tell me what you think the solution is and I'll try it. I, I, don't, I don't care about this puzzle anymore. I just want to move on. <laughs> so, what do? Everyone, whatever, whoever has an idea, feel free. First clone you do, make it move as right, but use the clone to then move on to the moving platform to pick up the cube. First clone you do to make it move is right. But then use the clone to move on to the moving platform to pick up the cube. Oh, that's so fucking... That's so obvious. Uh, I'm an idiot. Yep, that's definitely it. You wait for it to start moving and then you just spawn another clone. How did I not realize this? Oh my god. Ugh, I can't. My brain just can't right now. That's it. It's done. Puzzle solved. I can't believe it was that simple. Like, all these types of puzzles, it always seems simple after you hear the solution. The, like, doing what you have to do ultimately is not the hard part. It's just getting your brain to think in the way that's required. Which mine was very much not doing. A <laughs> one cube puzzle. Brown? Nope. Unfortunately not. What's up, Corgi? So this go is here. Brown is still killing it. It ain't gonna come back. Thank you for the 21 months, Kuzor. Appreciate it. That was delayed because my legs are folded up like a pretzel. <laughs> what color is the opposite of brown? I don't know. Whatever looks good. I get it. I noticed just in time what it is that I have to do. Wait. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't notice shit. What if she had taken the cube? No, because then I still would hit the wall. Hmm. Can she get over there without the cube? Do I have to go through here to get... Wait, what is this place? What is that? Getting sidetracked. Did I find a secret? Oh, the middle three for the next airship thingy. Cool. I have ideas for that, that puzzle, though. When I go back. If you could cancel your clone early and have it just stay in one, sp one spot for its duration, yeah, that would be nice. Instead of having it just stop existing at that point in time. I've been a little distracted there.
Brown is sort of a shade of orange. It's definitely in the same, like, color area. Uh, which way did I go to get where I was? Was it just to the right? I don't think I have a choice. Yeah. But then I dropped down right around this corner here, right? Nope. <laughs> Not quite. Still don't know where I am. Hey, there's the airship. Can do that later, though. Gotta finish what I started first. Which is where? Is this the wrong way? I feel like this is a whole other puzzle. This this doesn't seem right. So what was down there? I must have dropped down over here, right? For that to make sense, spatially. Oh, this looked like a closed door from where I was. Don't mind me. Yeah, so I dropped there. Uh-huh, okay. And then that's just going back. And you can walk... No, you need the cube to get out there. Wait, am I fucked? No, I'm not fucked. Not quite. Good rhyme chat, I guess. Wait, where is the cube? No, it, it didn't. It did. It sure did. Alright, well, we know what to do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just wow. Just, like, save the fact that I have gotten the cube and make its new spawn point somewhere closer. And more reasonable. Tasty Candy Dino. Uh... Oh, wait. No. No. I can't make a clone. I pressed the wrong button. My brain is actually fucking corroded. I got a water leaking in... Water leak in my brain. And then it's frozen into ice. Holy fucking shit. What is wrong with me? I was pressing RB. Like, bro. See you later, Grammar. Sounds painful? Yeah, it's it's not good. Yeah, I need to replace my battery. <laughs> I need to replace something, clearly. My car does not have a sunroof or anything, no. It does not. This is tedious to have to redo this. Because I fell in a hole. <laughs> Yellow again. Got him. Yeah, this is Kaizo Spelunky. I wish my car had a sunroof, because that would be a simple explanation. I understand how that would work. But no. That ain't it. Okay, how's this interaction <clears throat> going to work? How about I, <laughs> how about I just do this? Oh man, it's an invisible wall. This game cheats, let me do my cheese. So, what if I were to just, let's see, so, how do I think that's going to work? Stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I can put the cube here. It keeps the door open. But the clone doesn't last long enough for me to make it all the way. I don't get it. I could take another clone out from here halfway down, but... I can't get back in time to do anything. The clone could take the cube. Is the door... 
Does the door go low enough to block the platform from being able to come back, maybe? Perhaps? He hadn't seen the banana split. Wait, that went, that went like almost all the way. Well, that's not gonna work. Because the only reason it was going beyond there was because the previous clone existed. And now it doesn't. So I've just undone progress <laughs> for no reason what what was that supposed to do what like what did i expect <laughs> to understand what i was thinking was gonna happen if it respawns the cube i'm done no that's that's terrible game design that's it I'm done with that game. <laughs> that's that's I'm not doing that again. That's fucking stupid. It's it's easy to make a mistake and fall off. To have to redo an entire puzzle every time? Nah, dude. That's that's terrible. It's probably going to have more shit like that too. That's just truly awful. And hey, that gives me excuse to just uh end a bit early today and go be frustrated and fucking cry. <laughs> but um Thank you for watching, guys. I will be back on Sunday, hopefully with good news. Actually, no, I, I can't find anything out because it's going to be the weekend. So <laughs> car, there's not going to be any news on the car until at least Monday. That's if they can get me in that soon. But uh, hopefully it's something simple. And, and thank you again uh, for watching. And thank you for the huge, the huge, huge tips. Grammar and Yorla more. I think Grammar had to go, but very much appreciate that. It will help tremendously. But uh, let's find someone to raid. Who are we gonna raid? Let's raid Biznap. He's doing some repentance, which he is a god at. Say Biznap is robot. <laughs> Biznap is a true gamer X2 man 2 pog. Hmm. A true combo. Check this out. Okay. Will do. And say Biznap is. Come on. Biznap is not safe. <laughs> Like, let's let's cut it off there. Biznap is not safe, and then put Rex Rare on it, or whatever you have. Go tell Biznap he's not safe from the raid. <laughs> it's a tech bulletin on water leak across leaks from lacrosse leaks from wheel wells. Oh, thank you very much. I'll definitely look at that. All right, have a good one, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Later.